This is my brand new 2011 Sterling Gray Metallic Shelby GT500. I bought this car out of California about a month ago. The gentleman I bought it from uh, built the car originally to race it, but unfortunately had an injury occur in his left leg and could no longer drive the clutch. Uh, so I lucked out and picked it up. I live in New York City full time. Uh, so I bought the car out of Los Angeles and had it shipped to New York City. And I think I probably bought the cheapest and nicest Shelby in the entire country. The car's got a ton of goodies already done to it. So it's got the Trinity Blower Swap 2.3 TVS, 123 millimeter JLT. It's got the Super Cobra Jet Mono Blade throttle body on it. The car also has an amazing cooling system. It's got the uh, CNR heat exchanger, an upgraded radiator, cooled by a 1314 fan setup. And because he built this car to actually race it, I've got an awesome toggle switch here on the side. I'll go ahead and uh, turn on the fans and kick it on, keep it from overheating when it's in the staging lights. The car's only got 35,000 miles on it, and this thing was absolutely cherry when I picked it up. I could not be more excited. It's really terrifying buying a car sight unseen, um, but fortunately the seller made it a really smooth and easy process for me. So in addition to all the goodies and the blower swap that the car's got done, it also has three inch uh, JBA catted H pipe with three inch over the axles all the way back. And he had a Magnaflow street axle back set up. and swapped it to the Roush axle back, which is ungodly loud. Um, but luckily there's no drone on the highway at all and it sounds absolutely incredible. I'm obsessed with the setup. The H-pipe keeps things really, really deep, but the Roush keeps things a little bit raspy on the back end and nice and loud so people can hear you from about a mile away. Okay, that's definitely louder than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so loud. I know, you can hear Sorry. literally coming from a mile away. I have yours. <laughs> you all right there, babe? I was very upset. <laughs> so when I was originally shopping for a GT500, I know that Andrew and I were both going back and forth texting with each other about, do we get an 1112? Do we get a 1314? I decided to go with the 1112 because I think it's about 10 grand cheaper on the market right now. With the Trinity blower swap, the car under its current setup is making 644 wheel horsepower and 610 rear wheel foot pounds of torque. I think for just a few thousand in upgrades, you can take the 1112s to 1314 power levels and still come out ahead. The other thing that I did was I absolutely love the look of the 1314 taillights way more than the stock uh, 10 to 12s. So I went ahead and swapped these taillights as well. Obviously it's about a 700-ish dollar mod, but it's worth every single penny because it changes the entire look of the rear end. It's so mean, it's so aggressive, and you swap the bumper, put on the quad tips, again, for about another thousand bucks, you get the same look as the 1314, and you can make all the power for 10 grand less. So the other thing this car already had done to it when I bought it was it has the MGW short throw shifter as well as the McLeod RXT. Now, a lot of people have a lot of issues with the TR6060 transmissions in these cars with a second gear grind slash second gear lockout. Uh, it happens a lot. I have to tell you, 
with the MGW and the RXT combination, I have had absolutely zero issues with second gear lockout on this car. It, the shifts are so short, they're so tight, they feel amazing. So if you have an 11 to 14 Shelby, I highly recommend the MGW shifter. So prior to this, I had a 2011 California Special Mustang GT convertible. The Coyote was originally a dream car of mine. I'd owned a bunch of two valves before that, including a turbo two valve uh, that was a lot of fun. But the Coyote was like my first big step up. And after Mustang week with Andrew and everybody, kind of started getting the itch to get a Shelby. And as heartbreaking as it was to let the California Special go, it went to a good home and I just honestly could not be more happy with the Shelby GT500. Can you believe it still has cats on it? Yeah, it still has cats, that's crazy. <laughs> it's last New York inspection and emissions flawlessly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's still got cats on it. It sounds so good. I'm, I'm so obsessed with the way that this exhaust setup sounds on this car. It's just, it's so, the H-pipe makes it so deep and so throaty on idle, but then the Roush just absolutely screams once you get into the upper RPMs. It's, it's a really menacing setup, and I definitely recommend it if you've got a Shelby. That just never gets old. You can barely hear the blower over the sound of the exhaust though too. Is it kind of lame to do that sound tube mod? I'm thinking about doing it. Because I kind of- I, I think it's cool. I kind of want this, the blower sound. You can only hear it like right at the very tops of the RPMs there. We're gonna have cops running after us from like two miles away. Wasn't us. <laughs> Wasn't us. Well, this is Mexico. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rhode Island and Mexico border each other. Exactly. You guys didn't know. Exactly. Geography lesson. Thanks so much for like meeting up, man. It's so good to see you. I'm so pumped for Mustang Week. Like we're gonna have such a good time. It's gonna be fun. I'm bringing the GT500. Yeah. I'm It'll excited to road trip this thing. This was a nice little sample of it. Tiff and I drove about three hours from New York for a fun Memorial Day weekend. Uh, but I'm I'm pumped for the long drive down to Myrtle Beach. It's gonna be really awesome. Yeah. So your Instagram is Instagram is at JZNYC Real Estate. Uh, also, shameless plug for my business. If you know anybody looking to buy, sell, or invest in New York City, give me a shout. Um, also, because I need some work, go fast mods for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, slap the like button, leave a comment, Yep. subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time.